Hi, I am Karthik and uh, you are watching my Poddar KK channel and uh, today we will discuss Onion Architecture in SP.NET Core MVC part 6 of this series and today we will discuss Onion Architecture layer. So this architecture relies heavily on the dependency inversion principle. The UI communicate to business logic through interface it has four layer okay now you can see the figure of my screen uh, simple they have four layers okay so these layer are towards to center the center part is the domain entities which represent the business and behavior objects these layer can vary but the domain entities layer is always part of the center the other layer define more behavior of an object let's see each layer one by one okay first we will talk domain entities layers so what is that it is the center part of the architecture it hold all application domain objects if an application is developed with ORM entity framework these layers hold POCO classes means code first approach or EDMX like database first with entities these domain entities don't have any dependency others layers okay so second layers is repository layer so what is that the layer is intended to create an abstraction layer between the domain entities layer and business logic layer of an application it is a data access pattern that promotes a more loosely coupled approach we had this uh, topic loosely couple approach so you can you can watch in my previous part also so to data access we create a generic repository which queries the data source of the data map the data from the data source to our business entities and persist changes in the business entities to the data sources so what is third is service layer so what is that the layer holds interface which are used to communicate between the UI layer and repository layer its whole business logic or an entity so it is called business logic layer as well so my first fourth and last one what is UI UI BAB unit test layer so it is the, it is the most external layers it could be the BAB application or BAB API or unit test project anything this layers has on the implementation of the dependency inversion principle so that application builds a loosely coupled application it's communicated to internal layers via interfaces so that's it for this session and we also covered all these layers so thank you thank you for watching